Hey, this is Kay from OK Quilting. And things look a little rough around here today. So a couple of weeks ago, I actually took my machine in for servicing. And um, it just, you know, it had 17 million stitches on it. it since the last service, it needed it. So one, one of the things that I noticed when I take th whenever I take my machine off the carriage, I flip my carriage upside down and I look for threads. And so I've already cleaned all those out. But one thing I did notice was, and I've noticed this before, that this wheel right here is actually losing some of its silver plating. So I am, um, I asked Handy Quilter for an, a new wheel, which they gave me, and we are gonna change out a wheel today because this could happen to you. Now let's talk about the wheels for a second. Don't use anything on these except, um, what, what I clean with is a microfiber cloth. And it could be a little tiny bit damp, but you don't wanna get anything really wet, right? Um, these wheels get, remarkably dirty for the I mean the, all the lint and everything so just make sure you clean them out so this is a this little um, nut that holds the wheel on I have already checked it's a 7 16th so I've got a 7 16th bit on let me make sure this is spinning the right way and you guys you can do this lefty Lucy righty tighty hmm where have you heard that before huh okay so we're gonna gently put this on we're going to loosen this guy up. Oh, okay, here it is. It came off that easily. Oh, interesting. I don't think if you, I don't know if I can show this to you or not. This is special. See all that thread on there? Yeah, that's bad. <laughs> all right. You know, no matter how well we clean our machines, the fact of the matter is we work with thread and thread sneaks around and gets in places where it should not be. So let's get rid of this thread on my screw. And you're thinking, oh, she's putting it on her table. That's not the smartest move. And you are right. So there it is in my little trash can. Okay. So now I've got the new wheel that looks nice and perfect. We'll put that up back on. Now I don't want to over tighten it. See if I can even do it by hand mostly. Okay, I'm just going to give it one little shot. So it's a little tighter than I could do by hand. Okay. That feels like it. Hmm. I might have put that on backwards. Okay. This is a learning moment. I just realized what I did. Let's take it off again and let's talk about what I did. Okay, so on your wheels, there's a part that kind of sticks out farther. So one side's pretty flat. One side has a little bump out. The bump out goes in. So you're gonna put the nut through so that the bump out is gonna go up against your machine. Let's try that again. Okay, it's finger tight. Let's make sure this is going the right way. Just a little nudge. There we go. Ah, that feels better. Okay, so that's all it is to clean out a wheel. Should I probably take off all these other wheels and look for thread? Probably, but I'm just gonna look for threads and make sure everything's clean. Then I will flip this over and put my machine back on it. All right, but I wanted you to be, able, you know, sometimes we have to do these things and it's a little scary. But that was not that hard. And if I can do it, you can do it too. Have a good day.